Season 7, Season 7, Season 7. Oh my god, I actually stuck him. Okay. Uh, today's video, yes, Season 7. You're probably thinking, yes, Season 6 has only just started. But there's always room to speculate. There's been a ton of teasers recently to do with Season 7. Uh, we're going to be talking about that in today's video, why I play a quick game in the background and hopefully get a nice win for you guys. And there's a guy above me. Um, we've got a lot to talk about in terms of Season 7. What the Season Pass, the battle theme is going to be. And a ton of awesome stuff like that that I want to cover in today's video. As well as a few leaks as well, which uh, I want to dive into in today's video. So before we get into it, I'm going to set you guys a little challenge. If you can drop a like on today's video, subscribe to the channel down below. And make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on. Comment down below once you've done that. And uh, I'll reply to as many of you guys as I can. So make sure you're commenting down below. Right. Where should we start? Should we talk about the Should we talk about the theme of season seven? I guess. So if you guys didn't know, how have I not hit that guy? Season seven actually starts. Well, season six ends on December the fifth. So season seven is going to start either December the fifth or a couple of days after, like season six did after season five. These guys, wait, are they teaming? Why are they not killing each other? And season seven. Oh my god is expected well is expected to be obviously to go with the current theme of the time is going to be christmas theme related okay unfortunately we missed out on that last year because season two came out at a weird time these guys are generally teaming hold up wait this is crazy like with season six what we got right now it's kind of like a halloween theme in a way like a scary nightmare kind of theme i guess in a way the season pass and the storyline that's going with it as well so expect season seven to be like Christmas themed I'm guessing and also with the map obviously there's a bigger community now there's potentially going to be snow on the map this time around which oh my god it's a galaxy skin these guys are generally teaming like I'm just sitting here chilling they're generally teaming yeah expect snow on the ground this time around as a change in season 7 and expect the battle pass in particular to be like Christmas themed I guess in a way these guys they must know I'm here hold up I've got to deal with this block him. Hold up, he's heading. See you later. Dude, they're generally teaming. That's what I thought. And I can't report them because... Damn. Okay, well, at least I got rid of them. I'm sitting here with four kills. We're chilling. i got to dance on them. So, as you guys know, with the battle pass this time around, we got like a llama outfit. With season seven, I'm guessing just taking a shot in the dark here. The llama outfit, but as a reindeer, I think would be pretty cool. Obviously, Season 7 starts like December the 5th, which is perfect time for Christmas and for it to be like holiday themed. And maybe even gifting can come along then, like it's still in the game just sitting there. Gifting coming for Christmas, perfect time. Why would they not, why is it not placing it there? That is a perfect time, okay? Now, something that I want to talk about that's going to happen towards the end of Season 6, which is very interesting. You guys know the new, like, Shadow Stones? Yeah, those things that you take and you go invisible. Well, if you put the noise that they make into a spectrogram, which converts noise waves into like an image, you can see up on screen here, it turns into the clock tower of Tilted Towers, and there's multiple of them. So, my guess is that these rooms that the Loot Lake Rock is going over, there's going to be clock towers spawning at these rooms, okay, that you see in Tilted Towers. Why do I think that's going to happen? Well, in the next coming weeks, there's actually a challenge. This challenge is visit multiple clock towers so my guess is that um well i just think that the two towers clock towers are going to be spawning at these rooms there's going to be multiple of them so as you can see it says out of seven clock towers how many rooms are in there in the game there's seven so uh, my guess is there's going to be a clock tower spawning at each of these rooms once the loot lake like rock has traveled over all of them i guess so back to season seven we've actually come out of there with some decent loot i'm actually surprised so season seven december the fifth what can we expect in the battle pass? Like I said, I've already hinted at the fact there might be like a reindeer costume. Like we've got a llama one for this season. Like a reindeer one, maybe. And uh, what else in the battle pass? Expect stuff to evolve like rapidly. Like they're always trying to push the battle pass now that there's like big games coming out. So more pets. We could see like some awesome cool pets that could be like Christmas themed related. I think that'd be cool. More soundtracks, new pets. And just some awesome new additions that are going to come to the Battle Pass as well. Some awesome skins and stuff that are going to be season related, which is going to be around the Christmas time. Oh my god. You know what? I actually rate the thermal at the moment like it's 10 times better than anything else. Maybe not 10 times better, but it's like good. So there's a lot to do with season 7 um, that we can speculate at the moment. Obviously, there's things flying around on like Reddit all the time. What season 7? What the hell? There's another thermal. What season 7 is going to be like? 
And um, one big thing that people are talking about at the moment are these eyes you've seen up on the screen here. They've been appearing quite a lot recently on skins. As you can see up on the screen here, there's a lot of things this season relating to a snake. Now, people's theory is at the end of Season 6, a massive snake's going to be coming out of Leaky Lake. You know, the big hole. What is going to be happening there? People think a huge snake is going to come out of there. Or something is big's going to happen, okay? Obviously, the end of Season 6, the cube, it's been going on over two seasons now. It's kind of boring in a way. Same old, same old sort of thing. Something big is going to be happening at the end of the season, and um, a snake, I don't know, these eyes, people suggesting it's hinting towards a snake, a big snake coming out of Leaky Lake, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. Right, I'm going to try and wrap up this win actually, because damn, I've left lazy links with four kills, I think I can push for a few more. Let me know what you guys think though, down below in the comment section, season 7, the holiday at that time is obviously Christmas, so yeah, I'm expecting the map to be covered in snow. Like, we expected that last season. I think the game was blowing up at that time. They didn't really know what to do. They just covered the bushes, didn't they, and some, like, Christmas lights. I think this time around, um, obviously, we've seen biome changes now. We've now, got, we've now got, like, the sandy area and the grass area of the map. Maybe a snow area I'm expecting to come. Obviously, we've got the Viking village, but, like, I'm thinking the whole map covered in snow. How sick would that be? And it looks like we've got a bit of action over here. I can actually beam people with this at the moment, like... I'm so good with this at the moment. I beam people. Okay, we got one of them. Ugh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we're only like, what, three weeks into season six? Kind of early days. Well, we're nearly halfway through in a way. So, not too far off. But, uh, yeah, this is when season seven leaks starts to come out and stuff. It's good to, uh, you know, people's theories. Talk about them and what's going on. There's a guy just chilling in this hut. I'm going to have to attack. I've got no RPGs. That kind of sucks. Okay, we're just going to go pushing in. I think it's going to be lit. A lit time of the year. I want the whole map to be covered in snow. Oh. One. Every bullet. I told you I'm good with the thermal. That wasn't the guy that was hiding in there, though. Uh, Where's he gone? Hello. Oh, I see him next to the tree. Did you see him? I'm hoping you saw him. Because I saw him. Bang. Bro. Don't even at me at the moment. <laughs> I'm that pumped for thinking of ideas for Season 7. Like, I'm actually killing it at this game right now. Yo, let's go. I doubt if he's got any good loot. Let's have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, a scar. I'll take that. Uh, we'll take some of that as well. I think the problem with the last couple of seasons, they've been kind of repetitive. Obviously, that's why they've had to beef up the Battle Pass this season with, like, pets and some new stuff and music. Why am I mining a tree? I don't need any more wood. Oh, there's action going on around here. I think they got a lot of backlash with the Battle Pass being repetitive. I think Season 7 is going to have to push it again. Because people are moving on to other games. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Why do you no build, huh? Come on. Oh, yeah. There's action going on down here. Bang. Bang. Bro, what? A stream out 441. Nah. Come on. Alright, that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. Um, talking on the topic of Season 7. I know Season 6 has only just begun, well, three weeks into it. I wanted to talk about my thoughts and opinions and some theories around Season, season 7. Obviously, I'm hoping it's going to be Christmas-themed. It's around that time, December the 5th, so expect that. I'm hoping the map is going to be covered in snow as well, and the Battle Pass is going to have to be juicy as well. Last couple of seasons, it's kind of felt a bit dry in a way. Obviously, Season 6, they've added in a few, a few more things, but I think for Season 7, they're going to have to push it a little bit further. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like on today's video. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel down below. I'll catch you guys in my next video. It's been your boy, Mamax. Have a good day. I'll catch you guys later, and peace out.